Hi everybody, it's Miss Laura. Welcome back to Storytime. I hope you enjoyed Rainbow Fish. Today we're gonna to make our own sparkly fish out of a CD and some other things you might have around the house. So the first thing I'm gonna do is find an old CD um, and make sure that um, you have uh, one um, of those around and some scissors and look on our website and see if you can find the link for our template for the CD fish. Um, and you're gonna print out the template. If you don't have a template, you could draw something that looks kind of like this. It's not too hard. You just need really um, the fins uh, and the tail. And if you want an eye and a mouth, you can kind of draw something that looks like that. So I'm gonna take my template and my scissors and I'm gonna start cutting out um, the tail right around the black lines as best as I can. Now, once you have the template all cut out, then you're gonna trace the pieces on colored paper, or if you don't have colored paper at home or you don't wanna use colored paper, you can take uh, crayons or markers and you can color in the template yourself and that would make it nice and colorful too but um, I have colored paper here and you can take a pencil and just trace this all around with your pencil and then you can cut it out. So I don't even really need to have a pencil. I can just kind of hold it with my finger and just very carefully cut around here, around my template to make another tail. And when I finished, it will look just like this tail here that I have here, okay? And what you're gonna do is, let's put this to side. We're gonna turn our CD over to the not so shiny side, and we're gonna take our tail and we're gonna glue it to the back of the, um, the CD. So I'm using for this to glue, instead of a glue stick, I'm using Elmer's um, gel glue but a glue stick would also work. Gel glue works a little better. So just put a little bit of glue, not too, too much, and just glue your tail right onto the back and press it down. Okay, so on our template, I also had a big fin and I traced that and I cut it out on blue paper. So you wanna glue that onto the back too. So we're gonna just put some glue at the top here, and we're gonna make that go kind of like this at the top. And then we have a small one also, and we're gonna put a little glue on the bottom. Okay, and we're gonna take that and we're just gonna put that on the bottom. You can sort of see he's starting to look a little bit like a fish. And now we have this little shape that looks kind of like a heart, but we're gonna make that his mouth. I'm gonna put a little bit more glue kind of over here. And put that like that. When we turn it over, Oh, we're gonna see now that doesn't look so great, right? His mouth needs to be adjusted a little bit. So we're gonna pull it up. And don't worry that the glue is like that because that's gonna dry clear, so it's not a big deal. So I'm gonna turn this around so I can see it. Okay, and I wanna put an eye on my fish. Now, we have an eye on our template that you can use, but I would like my fish to have a wiggly eye and I have this really cool big wiggly eye. So I'm gonna put a big dot of glue here and I'm gonna put an eye right here like that. 
okay? Now I wanna decorate my fish because I like sparkly things as we've talked about before. So I have all these really cool gems. You can see um, like this, you may have some of these at home. And we're just gonna kind of glue these wherever we want to, it could, they could just go anywhere. So in order to glue them, you just have to kind of make some dots on the CD like this. And then you're gonna put your gems right on top of the little spots of glue. Let's see? And you can really mix them up any color you want, doesn't matter. Okay, so then make some more spots. You don't need a lot of glue, you don't wanna to put too much. And then just put your gems right on the little spots, mixing up the colors so it looks pretty. Let's see if I can find some different colors. Oh, here's a green one. And you're just gonna keep going and going like that until you've got your fish covered all with gems. And it shouldn't take too long. It goes pretty quickly, actually. And when you're done with that, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna cut a piece of yarn. So you guys get the idea. You just keep going and going like this. And, and that's about, that's as far as I'll go with that. You can kind of see how it goes. And you have to let that dry a few minutes because if you pick it up too soon, the, um, the gems won't be dry, they'll just slide right off. So in the meanwhile, while that's drying, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some yarn, just, you know, a piece of yarn, and we're gonna cut it, you know, as long as you want to have it, because, you know, you wanna hang them up, right? So we'll cut a piece of yarn like this, and I have done this already for us so we could see how it would look. Now you're gonna put the yarn right through the hole there in your CD and tie a knot here and a knot at the top and then your your uh, fish will be all sparkly and he'll hang and he'll kind of turn and catch the light and there you go your own sparkly fish all right well i hope you have fun with that have a good day bye